Hello, my name is Rampant Mystic, and welcome back to Slay the Spire. And today, we're doing Ascension, of course. Why would we do anything else ever? Anyway, uh, last after last night's uh, uh, interesting Defect Ascension run, uh, we're not going to be doing any more Defect, even though I actually do want to do more Defect. In fact, I don't want to do anything but Defect Ascension, so we're going to be doing Defect Ascension. Yep, uh, way to contradict myself in the first... Two minutes. Oh, even one minute of the episode. Anyway, Ascension level 11, fewer potion slots. Let's begin. I'm gonna get that defect Ascension and I'm gonna get it right now. It's uh, gonna be me or the Spire. Alright, so uh, a lot of gold for max HP, maybe? Or I could just straight up remove a card. I could go like total randomness and hope for the best, but I, no. No. Okay, so out of these, there's only, like, three good options. Alright, let's see. Let's see the path first. Uh, triple rest, double lead. With no possibility of sniping. Actually, a slim possibility of sniping. You know what? Sure, I'll take this. I'll take it. Not really because of the sniping, but because I want to go for double lead. Um... I didn't even see the other paths. I was just like, you know what? Double lead, triple rust, sure, let's go. Uh, I do get to keep my goal, of course. Sorry about the uh, silence. And there might be, you know, occasional uh, silence here and there because my, uh, I'm not really uh, back at 100%. So uh, I do want Melter, but I don't want to pay for it. I will be card removing, though. I just picked up Sweeping Beam, so... Oh, Stark was gonna go anyway, but yeah, just saying. Alright, our second scheduled fight. Now, I just have to hope. Ooh, Doom and Gloom for AoE. Uh, no. I already have AoE. I just have to hope that these two aren't fights and... Okay, this one isn't. Uh, it is the Wheel of Misfortune. Let's see, am I gonna get a curse? No! Wow, okay. Is it setting me up to fight the Gremlin Knob? Because if I remove an extra strike, I'm probably fighting the Gremlin Knob. Yep, I'm fighting the Gremlin Knob. I can now guarantee that the first lead is going to be Gremlin Knob. Yeah, um, no. I, I'm almost certain. Almost certain. Okay, uh, it's not the Knob. I guess that's good. It would have been a horrible fight considering I just removed a bunch of strikes. Alright, so I could wait for next turn. You know what? I should. I might get the Zap. Zaps are sort of important here. I mean, at the very least, I'm set up, you know. Wow. Yep. Oh, well. Horrible opener. It's fine. Now, I don't really have much in the way of defense. And I will use the gen uh, the energy potion. I'm just waiting for a better turn. Like, probably now? Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. I mean, that was its whole purpose for the energy potion. To make me survive an extra round or two. Hey, not bad. Not bad. Uh, you know, that's our first debuff, so we're actually sort of ahead of the curve. Sort of. Right, uh, that being said, I should probably just straight up defend here for as much as I can. Uh, let's see. I do have a rest, but I don't want to rest. I want to go for the second elite. Uh, that being said, I will probably not have a lot of HP to do a... Uh, which is a little bit scary. Question card, sure. Attack potion and defrag. Yeah, let's turn this into an orb build somehow. I guess I do have zaps, so that's something. Uh, frost orbs would be nice, you know. Just put them in there as a mix. Kabako or sapphire. You know what? I'm gonna take it. It's a boost in damage. It's not a big boost, but it's something. Uh, okay, I'm triple defending here, definitely. And dual cast. Yeah, Kabako is. Uh, <laughs> Not gonna trigger there. It's I believe it's attack. Yeah, it is attack. That being said, there's the first attack. And I cannot kill here, so... Uh, defrag and defend. The double Ds of the defect. Yeah. The defect... Oh uh, Boy. Alright. Sure. <laughs> sure. That was really stupid of me. Uh, ball lightning or leap? I mean, these two are really good options, and I'm actually going to pick up Ball Lightning. This is bad. Uh, I'm going to lose max HP here. 
All right, so resting here is actually a really good option, and I might just do it. Because the next leaf, I don't know what it is, and it might be the knob. Okay, it's not the knob. I don't know if this is better, but, you know, it's something. I mean, still, you know, getting a defrag on the first turn and a zap. You know, I couldn't ask for a better turn one. I was just missing Sweeping Beam there, and there it is. That being said, of course, I'm going to generate a Lightning Orb. Now, I could risk it. I could strike the back one and hope that both of the orbs hit it, but I'm not going to because it is extremely unlikely that's going to happen, so... I would rather just eat a little bit of damage. By the way, the build I'm doing, the uh, orb build, is actually really good versus the Guardian fight, so... There's no way I'm complaining about that. Alright, I'm pretty sure I have lethal on both of them, depending on what I draw, of course, but I do. There it is. Alright, speaking of which, uh, speaking of voices... Uh, I need a leap, yeah. I have some tea next to me, just in case. Okay, let's uh, start with the back one. Uh, because he's gonna frail me. Yep, there's the frailty. I defrag and ball lightning leap. Yeah, I think ball lightning here is more important because of the defrag. Okay, I think that's it with the frailty. It should be fine, yeah. Yeah, they're dead. Alright, cool. Attack potion or fear potion? Ooh, honestly, the flex potion might be more useful. Uh, it depends on the situation. Though I'm not resting here. Uh, there is no way. I need to upgrade the zap just so it's free to play. It's just going to allow me to play... Uh, to have more orbs out. First hit. That Quebeco triggers. Alright, there's a zap, there's the ball, I think. That's a guarantee that it's gonna transform. Oh wait, that wasn't 15 damage, oops. Ooh, good thing I attacked there and didn't just end my turn. Alright, there's the defrag, uh, there's a dual cast. Of course, play the zap. Leap and ball, lightning. There's no way I'm missing that, that is a lot of damage for me taking 3 extra. Yeah. It's a fair trade, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, there's no point in attacking here. Of course, if I can prevent any damage taken, I will. Uh, that being said, uh, this is not damage being prevented. This is damage being taken. Wildly. I keep getting these three in the same hand. And I keep getting leap on the wrong turns. <laughs> uh, I guess that's fine. <laughs> I, I was about to, like, uh, sure, sweeping... Ah, I should have defended first! Oh, that was stupid! I guess it didn't matter in the end, I was gonna take three. Alright, there's leap. Defend, defend. Yeah, I'm not ball lightning here. There's no way. Now I need to deal 40 damage before I die. Uh, can I do it? Potentially. I'm not gonna wait around for the dual cast here. It might happen next turn, so. I'm currently fine. Uh, that's why I didn't, you know, uh, sweeping beam in the hopes of getting dual cast. Okay, I do not wish for any of these, actually. I mean, except Amplify, but for a single defrag, ooh. I mean, Velvet Choker is a thing. I have only two free cards if, if, and if, I actually don't go for too many more free cards. If I, I could easily take Velvet Choker. Velvet Choker isn't bad, it's just situational, because most of the time I am running low-cost decks, and it is better in a higher-cost deck. Low-cost to no-cost of deck. It's just not good with them. Alright, anyway, rests. Uh, I see double rests, that is about it. And single elites. Hmm. Late chop on the left side, so that is probably the side I'm taking. Uh, yeah. Early and late shop. You know what? I'm, I'm willing to take that. I'm willing to take that. Oh, sleeping beam. The defrag, of course, defrag is going to get played. I, uh, yeah, I'm playing dual cast here. And who am I hitting? Who am I hitting? You know, you have the most HP. Yeah, I'm going to take some damage. Uh, there was no avoiding that. I had only a single defense, so... I want to really kill the back one, but it's not going to happen. And I'm going to take that much HP damage, really? 
Well, I mean, it's my own. Considering I have mostly defensive cards. Uh, no. Lie. That was a flat out lie. Okay, uh, sure. Now I'm fully defended. Uh, more than that, actually. It's fine, though. The enemies are dead. Uh, even without the dual cast, they were more than dead. A capacitor, yes. And that is probably one of the final cards. Upgrade a card? Yeah, remove and upgrade. Yes, indeed. All right, so the card removal. Now, this is going to be a random upgrade, I believe. Uh, which is horrible for me. Uh, you know what? A, a defense is fine. As long as it wasn't the strike, it's fine. Oh. Uh, horrible combo for turn one. I probably should pick up a boot sequence. Because I keep getting uh, very few defensive cards in the opening turn. So I probably should consider getting a boot sequence. And now just watch as soon as I get a boot sequence, you know. I'm always going to get a hand of uh, full defense. There's a dual cast. And there is... it. The, everybody did, actually. Surprisingly. Alright. Yeah, we're fine. I do need something to help me heal there. Now, loop is a good option here as well. I'm, the only reason I'm considering it is because it's pre-upgraded and my deck is kind of thin, so... Speaking of thin decks, ooh, Storm, yes. Well, this just turned into a power deck of sorts. Uh, Lantern, yeah, uh, definitely picking up Lantern. I could have picked up Dolly's Mirror and instantly gotten uh, um, Storm duplicated, but... Oh no, I just realized that the Elite is before the rest. Now that could cause some issues. Uh, and by some issues, I mean uh, kind of a lot of issues. Okay, uh, uh, I need to like not take any damage here, and that is extremely unlikely. And I really need Storm before all the powers, so... That is a lot of things I need for... Uh, did I just intentionally take damage there? Yeah, I did. Well... There's Storm. It's a bit too late, though. I have no more powers left. So I'm actually not going to play it unless I have to. Dual cast, yep. I have to leap here, and I'm still going to take damage after I leap. That is so horrible. I I think we're just dead. I got a good build, uh, but I just took way too much damage in the bird fight, so... That's the thing that actually killed me. Mm, not something else. Yeah, I can take Static Discharge, but at this point... At, at this point, no. Yeah, I'm dead. Guaranteed. This enemy always attacks, and I have a single defend. Well. Redo. Uh, it's the bird fight, okay? It's the bird fight that got me. This would have worked if uh, I just survived until the... Uh, remove a card, choose a rare card. Max HP! No. I could remove or I could get the gold. Generally, card removal is good. I prefer card upgrade as a start instead of removal. But, uh, you know, what? removal is fine as well. In terms of rest, we have triple rest, single late, pa lots of question marks. So, a possibility of a slightly later shop. That's fine. And an early shop as well. So, we have that going for us. Okay, good. That's dead. I would like to see the same build. Uh, like, seriously, no, I, I would, uh, just with, I don't know, uh, Storm earlier, I suppose, if possible. If not, you know, it's still fine. Card removal, that's probably going to be a mistake, but sure, let's do it. Heinz and Potions, uh, regen and weakness? Yeah, I'm going to take weakness. Alright, so by removing Double Strike here, I almost guarantee that the first fight is going to be the Knob fight. Which is the most amazing fight you can have as a Silent who has just removed two strikes from their hand. I'm willing to take one damage here just so I can deal a little bit more because I want to kill this enemy soon. Oh, uh, that's not going to be today though. It's going to be tomorrow. There it is. Energy Potion. Look, yeah, I'm gonna pick up the boot sequence, you know, preemptively. Because it's actually gonna be useful, surprisingly. 
Who would have thought a zero cost 10 block card on the first turn is useful? Hmm. Ah, this tea is horrible. Who made it? <clears throat> In fact, I, I don't want to know. It's probably me because who else would do that? <laughs> who else would do that for me? Anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, dual cast or zap dual cast? Dual cast first, uh, because I currently still don't want, don't know what exactly I'm going to be doing or want to do for that matter. I mean, I want to do a lot of things. That doesn't mean I'm going to get to do them. And yeah, sure, do it. A regen potion started up early. Yeah, not yet. Maybe next turn, but not yet. I'm definitely taking damage here. There is no doubt about that. For example, now, now I'm taking 10. And the weakness potion here is totally useless because they all have artifact tank. Ugh. Kill the back one. Or not. Oh, my back hurts. I seriously, I initially thought that I didn't have a cold or anything, but I'm pretty sure at this point that I have a cold. Or, you know, like a flu or whatever. I don't know. It's because my back hurts. I mean, my back normally hurts if uh, I've been working way too much, but because of the new job, I haven't really been working way too much. I mean, yeah, I've been working. Yeah, it's heavy lifting involved, but uh, I generally don't uh, work for like 8 hours or 10 hours or 12 hours or whatever. So uh, it's it's sort of fun. I have time to relax, but generally, uh, if, uh, you know, I start feeling anything. Yep, I know how that sounds, but in general, you know, uh, if I start uh, feeling like my back uh, beginning to hurt or something, you know, I, I probably have a cold or something. Especially if I haven't felt well in the past couple of days, which I haven't. Uh, the Divin couldn't stream on Wednesday because I was really, really not well. Like, seriously, I was that bad I couldn't stream. I just recorded what I had to record for the day. I was like, nope, I I'm, not, I'm not doing anything else, no. <sighs> oh, well. I could run some sort of... The thing is, the recursion needs to be upgraded to be zero cost. Like, all for one recursion, I don't know, Dark Orb or whatever. It's uh, it's possible. It's extremely unlikely, but it's possible. That being said, yep, I have to upgrade. There's a reason I want the uh, Triple Rest. Vajra! Ah! I don't know if I should be happy or not. Like, I should probably be happy. I mean, it's still Vajra, but... On the defect, it's probably the worst thing you want to see. Unless you're specifically going for an aggressive defect build, which you actually can do now with the change to, uh, what was it called? Uh, focus? Reprogram? Reprogram, right? Yeah, reprogram. Well, it's, it's a lot more viable, basically. But still, you need to get that card early. Oh, sweeping me. Do I need it? Mm, I don't know, but I'm gonna take it because it's AoE. Sure, let's lose more HP. Uh, it's a Hex Ghost fight, so so long as I survive, we should be fine. If I survive... Ascender's Bane on turn one. I need something else, though. I, this, this thing this is gonna change on 35 or 36, so I'm not gonna attack anymore. Um... What was I saying again? Really? You're doing that much damage? Eh, whatever. You know what? I should have transformed you last turn. I hate you for this. Uh, I need something else. I need... I don't know. Defrag upgraded. Uh, what else? Oh, wow. Okay. Defrag upgraded. Storm and a bunch of powers, which I can't get anymore. Uh, an extra way to generate a lightning orb. I, I don't know. There's a bunch of stuff that I actually need. To be able to defeat the Hexagos here. And there's Storm. But I need to pick up powers for Storm. Of course it's going to be my priority upgrade. Now the likelihood. Even if this thing has a power. It's only one. It's just the It's not going to have a big effect. It's going to have some some sort of an effect. It's just not going to be a big one. Sure. Weakness Potion. That's going to help. Sure. Uh, Fear Potion. No. no. Not really no. Uh, okay, I can kill two of them, so it's a good trade. Uh, that one's not dead, though. And I'm gonna take five, sure. I'm probably gonna end up resting. I probably will. 
Just because on 8 HP, I don't think... Oh, Blessing of the Forge. Yeah. So I can pick up Force Field. Generally, Force Field is good, especially when uh, when you run a Power Build. Uh, the problem w with that is that, <laughs> well, I currently have only a single power. I, I said I was going to rest, right? Yep, I did. Well... All cards in my hand. Do I want these upgraded? No, I don't think so. No. No, I don't want these upgraded. Oh, well. Let's see. Do I need to use weakness? No, I don't. I mean, everything's going to fully defend me here, so... No, I don't want to use Blessing of the Forge here as well. It's pointless. It's better served to upgrade at least four cards that are not upgraded. Okay, you know what? I'm going to use it here. It's the two strikes are here and two defense, so that's sort of fine. I'm sort of hoping that the two strikes are going to be enough. Uh, okay. To help me out here, but that is extremely doubtful. I'm saving the weakness potion if I actually do get to a second attack. Uh, do keep in mind that is extremely unlikely. And even if I do get it, it is incomprehensible if I survive past the initial turn after the attack. So yeah, there's that. Oh, wow. Uh, I need to use boot sequence now. There's just no way around it. I don't want to use the weakness potion yet. I know it's going to cover the uh, turn for the attack, but... Is there even a point? Oh, uh, what did I do? Why didn't I defend? You know what? It's fine. Next turn, he's doing a big hit, so it's fine. That's with weakness, 3 by 6 Mm-hmm. Saving beam, 4. Yeah, boy. Well, I'm dead. All right, redo number uh, 800.1. Yeah. Eventually, uh... Eventually, everything's gonna work. Remove two cards for 18 damage. Um, 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 yes. Yes, this time I'm gonna go balanced, okay? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna comment on that. This time I'm, I'm just going balanced this time. Right, I do see three rests with a middle shop, but a bunch of fights. Like a single question mark along the way. Well, two question marks, okay. Uh, it is on the left side. The other thing I can do is grab like two elites and two rests, but that that's something I don't want to do. So let's go straight up to the left. We start from the right and we go to the left. In everything. All right, this was that played. Uh, I really... The defect is like really challenging me for some reason. Barrage? I mean... It's a good idea if I can get Vajra again. You know, just saying. I haven't done a barrage build in the longest time. You know what? Let's go. Let's, let's try that. I mean, you can... You can do barrage builds with many other types of builds. Like, you can incorporate barrage into anything. So long as you have, you're have you generating orbs, you can incorporate it into anything. But if you're not, if you have, like, a single zap and a single dual cast and you keep playing those, yeah, you're... It's not really going to work that well for you. Which is why I generally don't pick up Barrage, because I do tend to lean on very heavily on dual cast early. Uh, you know, unless I get, you know, for example, extra orb generation. I'm going to pick up the leap here. Instead of the go for the eyes, let's remove a card. At this point, you, I really want Barrage to be my only damage dealer. Uh, that is extremely unlikely, though, for now, because, you know, first of all, I need to upgrade it. Second of all, I need to upgrade the zap as well. Is there a likelihood in this thing being hit? Let's see. Come on. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I'm weakened. Oh, uh, you know what? I should have just leaped and dual cast it, but whatever. It's too late now. I made the mistake already. And it is dead. Didn't even need to defend there. 
All right, so both of these do generate orbs. Now, the thing is, though, this is kind of expensive, so I don't want it. But generating frost orbs with barrage is generally a really good idea because the frost orbs tend to defend, help defend you. If you're not running defrag, they will just help defend you, which is actually fine, uh, considering that I will uh, definitely want to pick up a capacitor if I can find one. No. So this means I don't need to really upgrade the zap. I do want to pick up a glacier, though, in this case. Um, so basically they'll end up having to, you know, defend me a little bit. Why did I attack that one? That was stupid. I should have attacked the back one. Oh, well. Now I'm frail. Oh, at this point... Can I... Nope, I can't kill them both. I can kill one of them, that's about it. You know what? Let's see. Yeah, I was really hoping that the fungi beast would die, but... Ah, well. You win some, you lose some, right? There's a capacitor. It was a good capacitor. Now, in this lead fight, yes indeed, I am gonna go on lower health because barrage is a very important upgrade here. The two extra damage per hit is great. And of course, do I don't have a sweeping beam, right? Yeah, I don't. Okay, uh it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Alright, what I'm actually gonna do here is I'm gonna keep striking one of them. <laughs> oh, yes. The way to victory is in killing one of them. <laughs> or all of them, in my case. Alright, so that was obvious that I was going to take a lot of damage here. I'm just hoping to not take more than 20, currently. But, yeah, I'm uh, going to be taking more now. Oh, no, that's bad. Okay, I'm still alive. Actually, pretty good at the moment. But yeah, I do need to, like, get more orb generation badly. If I want to run Barrage. Especially, like, a Glacier. A Glacier would be nice. A Glacier would be more than enough orb generation. Ah, oh, this is bad. Yep. This is actually really... What is the boss fight here? Guardian. Uh, Barrage is not really good versus the Guardian, but, you know, whatever. I guess Frost Orbs, Guardian, sure, why not? Mule Ticket, that's actually really good. And absolutely nothing. Now, am I resting? No, because I have Mule Ticket, I will actually heal up over there for a little bit. Capacitor needs to be upgraded. It is, again, it is just six more damage. Uh, Mall Bank. Great, 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 it's, uh, I'm not entirely sure if, uh, if it's, uh, gonna stick with me for very long. I mean, it's just, it's a lot of gold. But why do I keep getting it before a shop? Uh, now, the, the dilemma I have is I want to card remove. I want to remove strikes, I want to remove the zap, I want to remove the dual cast. Well, actually, I don't want to remove the zap yet or the dual cast, but eventually I will. Uh, I want it to card remove. <sighs> Great. Speaking of zaps and dual casts, there they are. Well, I don't have much of a choice here, so maybe thank you for killing one of them. I was uh, hoping for that, to be honest. Capacitor and... Uh, you know what, I'm not going to take any more, I, I don't care. I don't care about the potion. Leap, defend, and yeah, barrage. It's not more than dual cast, true, but eventually it will be. Attack potion, sure, that you never know that could help. I do I need AoE? Yeah. Do I need it in the form of sweeping beam? Sure. I mean, I don't really have much of a choice, so yeah. Am I resting? No. Oh. So I need to upgrade like these three. Possibly dual cast if I'm gonna be keeping it. Because though I will keep dual cast if I can get a glacier, but I haven't gotten one yet. Okay. Well, I'm gonna double defend here, so no capacitor. I guess it's fine in these fights. I don't really generate that many orbs. So I shouldn't worry about them that much. Can you give me like a random Vajra? I know you don't give relics, but Maybe you could help me out here. You know, nobody needs to know that you did it. Nobody. 
All right, cool headed. It is a way to generate frost orbs. It is a way to draw a card. It is sure. Why not? I need it. At this point, I need it. So why not? Ah, would you look at that? Let's see what dual cast hits. Good. It's a nice split. And sweeping beam. The sweeping beam does put that one in a really bad position for me, though. Ah. You know what? Let's kill them all. I mean, for a single attack potion to save a lot of HP? Yeah, sign me up. Am I resting? Are you kidding? Why would I? Draw two cards. Do I want that? Or do I want to upgrade my AoE? Uh, if this was channel two frost orbs and draw one card, I would go for it, but it's not. The only reason I upgraded the AoE there is, you know, uh, because of the next floor. I, I'll probably need it. It's probably going to be useful in the long run. Okay, now this is an issue that you can run into if you don't deal a lot of damage early. And uh, how dead am I? Well, not very, but uh, very close is the way I would put it. Cool headed, okay. The reason I'm not uh, barraging there is because I really want to, like, you know, gather up orbs. And yeah, sure, Zap can actually stay here. And now it's time to transform. Now, what can actually happen here is because I have a flex potion, if I'm not weakened or vulnerable for that matter, uh, I should have dual casted there. Oh, you know what? I can dual cast here. Uh, what I can do is I can just flex potion, which is going to be five strength per attack. So that's going to be two, four, five, six attacks total. And that is a lot of damage when you think about it. A good thing I'm not vulnerable, but that does not mean I'm not dead. I probably should have card drawn here. Uh, it's too late now, though. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. Alright, attempt number... Ooh. Ooh. I normally go for three, but I'm really... I don't know what's going on with me. I really want to play the defect. I don't know. I have no idea. Obtain a curse for 250 gold. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do this. Alright, time for a redo. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to even bother trying, no. Uh, Ectoplasm really needs to be reworked. It really does. Uh, it's just, it's game ending. Ha, my tea's gotten cold. Horrible. It was horrible when it was hot, now it's even more horrible. What is going, what is with this tea? Tea should not be horrible. Okay. Like, everything hasn't tasted right in the past couple of days. Okay, I think I want to abandon the run again. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, I can get the super lead uh, for a double rest. I mean, it's almost a guarantee. It's not a guarantee. It's almost a guarantee. It's like a 50-50. A big 50-50 because... Uh, oh, Glacier. You know what? Yeah. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to straight up pick it up. Mind Blast. Uh, <clears throat> card removal? Yeah. I have a glacier. I'm so confident that the glacier is gonna. You no. Know, the glacier is gonna win me the game that, you know, I'm gonna start removing strikes right now. Sure. Why not? Auto shields. I do. No, wait a minute. If I'm earning frost orbs, I don't need auto shields. I need something else. I need a barrage. At this point, I have enough orb generation. I need barrage. Hello there. How dead are you? Very. Yes, indeed. Uh, I love that. I love it when a super lead dies to that. Oh, white noise. Sure. Uh, I'm currently just playing without thinking that much. And that could be a detriment. Uh, some would say it is. Others, like me, would say it's uh, it's relaxing. Normally, we overthink the game. Uh, we just think way too much. So, today is not one of those days. If you could give me a blizzard now, I'm willing to try again. You know, just saying. Just saying. You know, I'll thin down the deck. You know, just, just glacier. Just I'll put in an extra glacier, even. You just gotta throw me a bone here. Give me a blizzard. Do I need leap, or did I pick up auto shields? Okay, I'll oh, wait. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Forget about it. Frozen egg! Ah, ah, ah. Uh huh. Maybe. Maybe the 
game wants me to do an orb build. Like a storm build. Orb build. Oh, sure. Yeah, I'm willing to do that. In fact, I'm willing to do this after it. <laughs> Alright, dead. Oh, these fights have been going on. Oh, oh, oh. I actually need both, but I was about to say this is pre upgraded, but Barrage's common defrag is uncommon. And defrag is actually going to help me out a lot here. I really want Barrage though. So there's no point in upgrading this or this unless I uh, unless I really need to. I'll upgrade dual cast here because it becomes zero cost. That is going to be important someday. I don't know when, but one of these days. Oh, Storm. Ah, oh, Storm. All right, you have the most block. You're the one that's getting hit. Of course, by the Lightning Orb as well. It was a one in three. It was a one in three. That's all I'm going to say. It was still a one in three. And you know what? I'm going to remove the armor. All right. I think they're all dead, aren't they? All right. This one's definitely dead. Uh, that one is, yeah, dead. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh. Oh. Oh, there it is. Told you it's a common card. All right. So now it's, oh, boy. I uh, okay. Now it's the thing that actually needs to be upgraded. I'm really hoping that this thing hits the sneaky Kremlin. <clears throat> yeah. Well, the game is throwing me some sort of a bone. I just think it might be infected with a deadly virus. Mm. Okay, what well, can I... Come on, I need to kill you! Good, now I need to kill the Gremlin Wizard, which is not gonna happen. Okay, uh, sure, I'm immune to weakness. Good. Uh, I mean, great. Please hit the wizard. Or not. Alright. Glaciering is... Uh, it's gonna do something. Ah. Oh, you know what? I'm sort of well defended. Oh, and that one being dead, that's a lot better. Okay, you know what? It's fine. This fight is generally kind of deadly, so you know what? Th that's more than fine by me. What just happened, you know? The whole situation. I'm oh, taking five damage. Yeah. Power Potion and Capac... Nope, no Capacitor. Blizzard? Capacitor? Essence of Darkness. Double Essence of Darkness. Mm. Double Essence? What? Right. Boss fight is Hexaghost. So... Essence of Darkness. Essence of Darkness. Yeah, because why not? Barrage. It's the thing that needs to be upgraded. Now I just need Blizzard and this one is going to be interesting. Uh, and yeah, I'm just straight up going to use this and no frost potions, no frost orbs, no nothing. Uh, the reason for that is I'm willing to take this damage in order in like one turn to just kill it. Well, in a couple of turns, but uh, you get the gist. That is currently a lot of damage and yeah, loop here. I'm just waiting to use the second potion just insta give the boss or I could save this. This is, this is probably a rare potion, isn't it? Of course, another thing I can do is just wait for the dual cast. I mean, eventually, it's gonna have to show up. Yeah, I'm going to take the damn. Oh, no, 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 I didn't need to. Oh, boy. Ah. I'm slightly being flagellant. <laughs> slightly, yeah. Oh, well, now I can just evoke these. I actually should have evoked them. I don't know why I didn't do it. Uh, I could have evoked them. I don't know why I didn't do it. Again, uh... If I die here, it's uh, due to my own stupidity because this was a very winnable fight, which I should have won five minutes ago. Machine learning. Y yes. Yeah, it's, it's a good card. Please give me something that gives me en energy. You know what? Nuclear battery is actually good. It will allow me to set up and then it's just going to evoke. I just need capacitor now. Let's just see, I just need Capacitor in the opening hand. <laughs> just so it can guarantee that nuclear battery stays for a lot longer. Triple rest, double elite, late shop. Hmm. Am I gonna risk it? Alright, well... After this elite, I can always just choose to go the side. So yeah, sure, I'll, I'm gonna go. White noise for... oh no. Okay, that's not good. I don't want that. 
Uh, no, really, I don't want that. Even if it means taking the 12 damage. I mean, no, it's not worth it. It is definitely not worth it. All right, so Glacier. Um, hmm. Yeah, Glacier. I mean, yeah, I evoke the Plasma Orb, but that was the whole point of the orb anyway. Just to get me set up on the first couple of turns and afterwards, you know, it's all fine. And how to find a demo? I very. I need to start removing zap strikes. You know everything that I don't really need. I'm fine. I'm defended. The defrag here is really helping out. Oh, wrong card. Second glacier. I would pick it up if I had a blizzard. Honestly, no, I really would if I had a blizzard. I could still pick it up. It's very expensive though. I need to card remove. I need to stop picking up cards. I need to start card removing. Like six cards. At least. At least six cards. I'm taking a lot of damage on the second floor. Uh, my builds are not holding up to scrutiny. And neither is my health by the looks of things. I didn't get a single defensive card there. Oh my. Sure, Echo Form. Zap Glacier. That. Zap Glacier, that. Yep, indeed. It's too late for the defenses now. And nothing. Oh no. Of all the enemies to fight, it had to be you. Uh, uh, I don't like my predicament here, to be honest. That's not going to help me much, by the way. <laughs> In fact, not at all. Okay. Okay, it did help a little bit, but I'm still dead. I'm still on the dead side. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, anyway, I'm going to be ending things off here. It, uh, uh, the game has... The game has not actually defeated me yet, so... I really want to play the... What is going on with me? The thing is, though... I really don't have the time. It is kind of late here currently, and I need to get ready for other business. So, my name's Rampa Mystic. I'm sorry for totally failing again. I hopefully, at the very least, entertain somebody. For now, though, my name's Rampa Mystic. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of Slate Aspire, and I do hope to see you all in the next one on Monday. <laughs>